All right, this is going to be a short uh, video of behavior of x-intercepts of a polynomial. Um, so that's something that we've talked about in class, um, and it has to do, deal with the multiplicity. So the multiplicity is going to kind of tell us what, what, what's happening at the x-intercept. So if we have an even a multiplicity for our root, um, it's going to bounce, or you can call it a touch also. Um, so what's going to happen here is, you know, maybe maybe have like x minus c to the to the fifth power, not to the fifth power. That's not to the fourth power. Okay, and uh, let's make it even nicer. Let's do this. Let's make it two, and we'll have it to the fourth power. And we know it crosses at two. Now, on the on the left um, of two, you know, some number less than two. When I do some number less than two minus two, that's going to be a negative. But the four is going to make it. The fourth power is going to make it positive. Okay. If I'm on the right side, like if I do three, three minus two is one. One to the fourth is four. So it's still going to be positive. So I'm going to be positive on either side. So you see that it comes down and it bounces or it just touches at that root. Um, and that that's what happens when we have even multiplicity. Is it's just going to touch or uh, you can say bounce at that particular. Uh, root. Okay. So you can either touch below or touch above. If you have odd multiplicity, then you're going to uh, cross. So you either cross below or cross above. So again, if we were looking at like at the 2 here and we had like x minus 2 to the third power, if I plug 0 in, I'd get 0 minus 2, which is uh, negative 2 to the third power would be negative 8, so it'd be down. We know it crosses at 2, and then um, uh, pick something to the right of 2, like 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 cubed is positive, so you see it does cross. Um, so the multiplicity, even, it's a bounce. Uh, odd, it is a cross. So here we're just going to ask you to describe the behavior at each x-intercept. So we'll give you some polynomial function. Uh, negative 2x to the fifth, x plus 2 cubed and x minus 7 to the 6. Oh, we're even doing even more. And x plus 1 squared, okay? So if I set each factor equal to 0, okay? So the one that usually throws people off is this one. Okay? Divide both sides by negative 2. x to the 5th is equal to 0. So the x is going to have to be the 0 for that particular root. Okay? The negative 2 doesn't matter. Negative 2 is a constant... Um, do, doesn't matter in terms of x-intercepts. It'll it matters for other stuff though, but not for x-intercepts. So we're going to find the root, which is the same thing as the x-intercept. Uh, we're going to talk about its multiplicity and then its behavior. Okay, so we got zero, negative two, seven, and negative one. Those are our roots. Okay, and then the exponent on those factors is going to be the multiplicity, so the 0 has a 5, negative 2 has a 3, the 7 has a 6, and the negative 1 has a 2. Okay, and then all we got to do is, it, is it odd or even? Odds across, evens a bounce. Okay, so odds are crosses, evens are bounces. And uh, this is one one little skill that we're going to be using to graph uh, polynomials. We know how to do graph quadratics. We know how to do graph like the cubic because that's a parent function. But now we're going to be able to do some some more interesting looking things. Um, so this is one thing that we we need to to get good at is is x-intercepts and their behavior.